Law and Order just got better because it forced the creative juices to go, and now we're looking at now we're looking at Law and Order SVU after four years. You know, another uh, another guy who really made himself a uh, key member to the cast. You know, is now uh, you pretty much uh, you pretty, pretty pretty much lost him, and uh, and uh, now you're wondering who they're going to replace him with, and uh, that's going to be one of the big okay. things too. Yeah, you know, I mean, they're not going to tell you anything. They probably already got it picked out. They're just not letting it be known, as far as uh, as far as what's going to happen. I think uh, I, th- I think you're going to see uh, I think you're going to see something big go on. I think you're going to see something big go on. I think uh, uh, yeah, you know that uh, ratings are still high on Law and Order SVU and. Uh, and I, I, I remember what happened when the Elliot Stabler character, which was done by Christopher Maloney, was pretty much uh, done for. So I mean, you know, there there is a uh, there there is there is a key there, you know, that you really got to look at in it all to see how it's going to last uh, all together. And uh, check this out here by uh, this was actually put up earlier by Clopsy when you were talking about Miley Cyrus. It says my stepdaughter. As young as she is, remembers Miley Cyrus for Hannah Montana, and now wants to know why she sees such such a skank now. How do you look at that? The reason for that, that, I think, uh, you want me to answer that? Uh, Go for it. The reason for that, like we were talking about years ago, uh, is because I think she absolutely detested the the Hannah Montana character. Uh, I, I, I think she got to a point where she said, enough's enough. I don't want well, to do four, this anymore. Fourteen years old, you think it's cool? When you get when you get to the point where you're growing up, yeah, it's going to be different. But she also found out too that she just simply couldn't be Miley Cyrus without the wig. She really had to do a Madonna reinvention of herself in the order to start about, selling uh, things. The thing about Miley Cyrus is Miley Cyrus, I think, is just trying to figure herself figure herself out, and I think. I can speak for everybody when I say give her time, and eventually Miley's going to slow it down. Uh, Miley is raising awareness now for homeless people, and I think eventually what Miley is going to do, Miley's going to slow it down, and she's going to revert back. You will see the long hair again. You will see the, 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 the brown hair again. You will see the direction of Miley Cyrus's character revert back. I think that that is inevitable because she's going to get to a point in her life where she realizes, what have I done? She's gonna. She's so proud of her, of her family's lifestyle, her their heritage, and what her dad did. I can't see her staying like this forever. It's not going to happen because she's going to get to a pivotal point in her life, like Demi Lovato did, who you were a big fan of. The old Miley Cyrus will come back. It's just a matter of when, where, and how it'll happen. Because what's going to happen to her? She's going to go back to uh, performing in rundown bars if she doesn't change her way. Well, you know, I mean, you know, is, she, is she talked about? Yes. I mean, Demi Lovato, I, you know, uh, changed herself around a lot faster than Miley Cyrus did. I, you know, I still mark out a lot for Demi when it comes down to, when it came down to uh, talent, because I was noticing the uh, singing talent of uh, Nick's people uh, overshadowing uh, all of them on Disney. But I also said with the exception to Demi, because Demi does have a very strong voice. Not the point I'm trying to bring up here, but actually the point I'm really trying to get to here is, you know, eventually, you know, if Miley Cyrus were to say, this is her final album this year, this is her final push, and she's just going to uh, sit back and see what's going on and see what she needs to do in her own life, that'll be great. Then you can see Miley Cyrus come back in three or four years, and you'll see a different attitude, a different person. You'll see that person with her hair, with her hair, with her long hair back to its natural color, doing just simply doing music and not trying to, not not trying to uh, make a theme cliche out of it. She doesn't need to overrate herself as much as what she's doing. That's the thing. That's what Miley is having great difficulty understanding, and that's what I've tried to say for years. Miley does not need to over-publicize herself as much as what she's doing. She did that as that character. And that's something she had better not forget. That Hannah Montana character gave her something special. Without that, she would have been nobody. And she oh, had better not forget that. 
Yeah, so I mean, I don't, that, think, that, I don't think she's going to. I don't think she's going to, Bob. Yeah, I yo, and that's the one thing I gotta say when I when I when I hear uh, well when, when I hear Ariana Grande, I knew she was going to be a big star. Plus, with the fact that uh, where I go to church every Sunday, right? They have their church in the uh, you know in the uh, school in the in the school that uh, she actually uh, went to, which was a private school here. Uh, which was a private school here, uh, North Broward, which is a uh, very, very disciplined, very, very, uh, very, very preppy, very, very preppy school. So she has, just, so she has balance in life, and uh, she lets that balance run things. So I think she's, I think she's going to be around for a while. I think, I don't think she's going to let. Uh, let the uh, let the demons that took out a lot of uh, people that should have had better futures take her out. Uh, you know, right now I we're. I gotta... Go ahead. One thing I got to put over here is that very quickly, people are adding me like crazy on Facebook because I've come back to the radio this morning. Thank you all for your friends' requests. I'm accepting them as fast as I can. Uh, I'm up to. Let me tell you what the number of people is now I have on here. It's unbelievable. I think I have something like 1,555 subscribers now, or something. Well, you also we got a little something listen- called Adventures with Amy, <laughs> and uh, she yeah. would be a good interview uh, if, you, if you. That's the same person I sent you the uh, friend suggestion to, so you can see what she's actually like on their uh, Adventures with Amy page. This is what I'm talking about. People have so much potential doing radio, but they're never given credit. That's why I went off there. People are never given credit for stuff that they do, and I just wish they did. Like, I mean, Miley, yes, Miley was great, but the thing is about Miley, Miley is just never given enough credit for anything that she does in the way of positivity. She's just been the center of, of negativity for, for forever. It's ridiculous, and I just wish that more people would realize, you know, maybe there's something else going on. I mean, Miley had a lot to deal with. Miley had, uh, you know, her parents break up after, I think it was 26 years. Her parents were together as long as what mine were. Uh, you know, she had a lot to deal with. She had a lot to cope with. And there was a lot going on in her personal life, along with her professional one as well. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, you know, it's again, says a lot about what what goes on, uh, goes on in the person. And for the star, you know, Disney, Disney doesn't uh, let there be that uh, private time with these uh, these kids, you know, Miley Cyrus, you know, had to do Hannah Montana. She uh, had to make guest appearances in Disney movies. She um, she had to be in the recording studio. She had to be making music videos. She had to be uh, going on tour. That takes its toll on you after a while. I it nearly destroyed uh, it nearly destroyed Demi Lovato. I'm surprised it didn't destroy Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato was very lucky to have gotten out of the situation she was in. Yeah, she was. I mean, you know, it hurt Sonny with a chance because I think that was going going forward was supposed to be their big show after uh, Sweet Life and Hannah Montana pretty much ended. I think they were looking more for uh, Sonny with a chance to really pick up the slack. I think uh, when it came down to Disney needing something to really pick up the slack and get it done, it was Shake It Up that did it. It was, and I, I thought the uh, I thought the ending to shake it up was a bit premature, but uh, you shake had more up, people. But... Turned out you had more people leaving the show after uh, that were leaving the show after that third season was done. Yeah, shake it up was a good show. Bella Thorne had a lot of talent on there too, and I really appreciated how Bella Thorne uh, actually was very, you know, open minded about her disabilities and stuff, that was really cool because it just showed how, you know, even if you have something wrong with you, still go as far as what I did. No other celebrity was as open as what she was, Selena Gomez was with it all, her battle with lupus. More people need to tell us what's wrong with them, I think, and then that will give more people more confidence. Another thing that really gets on my nerves is this bullying thing that people think they can get away with because of who they are. Because you think you're some high superiority individual who is dealing with some insecure issue inside of your own life. You think you can bring people down. Why do you do that? I mean, if you, if you went on the radio, the reality is if you went on the radio and said, bully people, throw them in lockers, put them in trash cans, I bet you more people wouldn't do it. That's the reality of it. 
you know, you're probably and you're probably right about that. I mean, I, uh, you know, I'm not here to say you're here to say any of this stuff is okay, so to speak. But uh, if you look at uh, if you know, if you if you want you want to take a look and you want to glance at uh, at uh, some of some of the big picture here, uh, you know, they've uh, you know you know a lot of these kids, especially in Disney, have taken on a big role. They have, they have, and they have a lot of pressure to deal with, and that's why I have a tremendous amount of credit for all of them for doing what they do, because not too many people would be able to do what they do. I would love the opportunity to actually work with Disney. I would love the opportunity to have that chance to just let them know how important they 